guys welcome back to my channel okay i got a few updates for you um sorry if i sound a little nasally i am fighting something off um but okay i am headed to costco well first i'm going to the ups store but that's not exciting i'm going to stock up for the rest of the week and then i am going to either on sunday or monday jenny adams whenever you respond to that part of the question <laughs> that's what i'm doing because i was toying with the idea and then jenny's like i'll do it with you so i'm gonna do it i've always been curious like how i would feel eating that way um i've been afraid to try it because i don't want to give up all the other animals but the curiosity got the best of me I've tried BBBE. I did that for a month, felt amazing. Now I did add in chicken wings and some salmon like on week three. I was just like, I gotta have it, but I kept the dairy out and I felt amazing. I lost eight pounds. I just felt like, even though my stomach still has fat on it, it felt really flat. So I think, you know, getting rid of that dairy, like you guys know, like that's my biggest struggle. And I've been having a lot lately because I did that week that had some carbs and I was getting my carbs from dairy. So I think this will be a nice reset, but I'm not starting tomorrow, which I probably should, but I have a waffle cone video I want to film and I have to fill it with ice cream carnivore ice cream so I have to taste it right and then my birthday is on Saturday the 10th so I would like to have a creamy coffee have some pork rind cereal and enjoy that day so I'm going to start either Sunday or Monday and I think the hardest part is going to be the no coffee like that's going to be a struggle for sure I gave up coffee t for two weeks and I didn't feel much of a difference except for I felt sad. It took some of my joy away. I just love it like, and it's delicious to me. I'll even drink it black, like I love it black. I tried to replace it with like hot water, even like a fatty latte with water. I did bone broth. It just wasn't the same. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, I had that out for two weeks as long as I could go and then I I did add it back in but I felt like I didn't need that much to like get the jolt and it's not like I need the jolt but I feel like now I'm relying on it because I have it like so much now like before it was like oh I had like a little half a cup and it's like oh this is too much and then I would have decaf a lot and now I'm just like a full-blown addict on the coffee and I think it's messing with my energy levels as well so I've been <laughs> thinking about giving it up but I keep saying like oh I'm just gonna keep it till I get to my maintenance weight like one thing at a time but you know what F it I'm just gonna I'm gonna give it all up on Sunday or Monday so I'm gonna take back all this stuff and I am gonna swing by Starbucks don't judge me I will get two-thirds decaf on my Americano and then I'm gonna head to Costco all right I got my coffee iced Americano two-thirds decaf I am about to run into Costco right now and officially got the word jenny left it up to me we are starting sunday june 11th wish me luck oh god you guys i'm already so sad <laughs> but it's gonna be good i'm actually excited but damn it's gonna be tough Why do we need to eat? My my family needs to start fasting. This is getting out of control. I did just want to mention something because my heart rate is through the roof. I have knots in my stomach. Um, I never know if there's going to be press about me. It's not like anyone like tells me. So it's always you guys that like send me the links and see shit. Um, so I wasn't mentioned in it, but some of my recipes were linked in a Bon Appetit article talking about the carnivore diet. So they mentioned Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Have your hat on. Um, like Joe Rogan, Liver King, Saladino, Rory, Rory Bland. He's awesome. Uh, Michaela. So they were all mentioned, but I had <laughs> my crack. Oh, that sounds weird. My carnivore crack and my bread recipe linked in there. So I'm taking that as a win. I am now considering, I'm consider, yeah, considering, considering myself a published Bon Appetit recipe developer person. 
<laughs> I'm taking it as a win. Seriously, I, I'm like shaking right now. Like my stomach just drops whenever I'm told that something has been put out about me because you just never know. I mean, it's never like great. I mean, this one wasn't bad. It's just like, here's what these crazy people are doing. But like the adrenaline dump, it, yeah good times. Okay, so instead of throwing this whole thing in the oven, since nobody else wants one, I'm going to throw one in my air fryer for about 10-ish minutes. So I'm taking part of the butter off. I will put it on towards the end so I don't lose it all. You guys, look at these. <laughs> it's the biggest pork rind I've ever seen. I stopped by our Mexican market, which I don't know why I haven't done in like years, and I'm so excited right now. Like, it's so huge, and it's just pork salt. I think it's a pork salt and and I think that was it. I it probably said lard or something, because I feel like it said something else. But yeah, nothing nothing wonky. Cooking up these ribeyes for dinner, and I will finish this tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good morning. So it is the next day. It's actually like lunchtime. It's almost noon. I am going to make these beautiful short ribs. So what I will do, I will sear them in my Instant Pot for like three, four minutes on each side in some tallow. Then I will add about like half a cup of water and a big chunk of butter, maybe like half a stick. And then I will cook it on high for, I say anywhere between an hour and an hour and a half. I like mine super tender. I'd probably do closer to an hour if I cut them, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know, you can see there's like one, two, three, four, five strips. If I were to cut them in half, I would probably do an hour, but since they're bigger, I'm gonna do an hour and a half. And then I will do, when that's done, a natural release. So let the steam slowly do its own thing for about 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to do lots of salt on these. And then my Instant Pot is right here, you can't see it. It's heating up right now. I will add some tallow and give it a nice sear and I'll show you guys what that looks like when that's happening. So I'm using this tallow, just do like a little spoonful. Pop this in salted side down. And that way you can salt that while it's in there. Might have to do two batches. I'm gonna salt them the other side and then we'll flip them over. And then I'll take these out and cook the other two that I have in. Because you don't want to crowd them, so steam. So I switched it over to pressure cook, added some water, now some butter, and then we cook for an hour and a half. All right, guys, it is done. It is tender. Look, I can't even take it out without it falling apart. This one just broke into three pieces. I'll show you how tender it just falls apart. So we love eating ours kind of like a pot roast. So I'm just going to top it with sour cream and eat it just like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, bless you Piper, <laughs> subscribe. Oh my God. All right, let's see how this tastes. Mm, hot, delicious. Oh my gosh. You guys hear Piper? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll see you next time.